Hello everyone, welcome to the world of Lean Six Sigma. I am Mohit Sharma, your mentor and coach on Lean Six Sigma issues and problems. Today we are going to talk about a case study which is on inbound call center. There was a huge problem in an inbound call center of average call time was 7 minutes per call which was considered to be very huge. This was a problem because it was leading to customer dissatisfaction. As we said, it was a huge problem because it was leading to customer dissatisfaction as well as there was a call drop and the next caller has to wait for so long before being answered. So the company decided to do this as a Six Sigma project and they formed a team which was led by a quality black belt. The first thing that the black belt did was to create a project charter. They had looked at the data for last six months and identified that call cycle time is seven minutes per call and then they took the goal to reduce these seven minutes to five minutes by june 2017. the scope of the project was only to reduce the call cycle time there was no other department or no other process which was in scope and the milestone was they started this project in march and they wanted to finish it by 30th june in the project team they had the sponsor as avp inbound and they had the champion as senior manager inbound team and they had mentor as Mohit Sharma and the process owner and the team members were also identified. The next thing the team did was to identify the high level process map in the form of COPIS. In the process the call was received by the agent then the agent was doing some research on Oracle and then some research on the other platforms then he will put call on hold and it was a norm I think it was happening in each of these calls and then they used to update the system and update the customer and close the call. So this was a huge tedious process of identifying information what the customer is seeking. The next thing the team did was to create army chart and communication plan. They wanted to identify the roles and responsibilities of these stakeholders in these particular phases of the DMAC project. So they said who will be approver, who will be informed, and who all are the resources and who all are the members in the project. They also created the communication plan because they wanted to finish the project on time. So hence they decided to create a communication plan and then stick to it. For example, they wanted to send a project update via email every week. They stuck to that and they created those emails on project progress status and send it to all the stakeholders. The next thing the team did was to identify the causes to the high turnaround time or high call time. So the main reasons if we look at it were the calls were put on hold, people were having less process knowledge, they were not able to find information in less time. Under process they had tedious process to obtain information, manual process and less licenses were there to search. Under mother nature, there were too many calls on Mondays. Under machine, they had outdated machines, they were network issues and they had search engines, they were obsolete. And under SME, they were not available on the floor, no internal skill development or there were SMEs or TLs not available on the floor as well. The next thing the team did was to collect data and this data is represented in column C2, which is call time. In column C3, they had potential X which is city, in C4 they have potential X shift, in C5 they have potential X as agent and C6 they have potential X as hold time. So first thing the team has to do was to check whether the data is normally distributed or non-normally distributed. So the team did normality test to check whether the data is normally distributed or non-normally distributed and the path for that is stat basic statistics graphical summary in the variable column enter call time and click ok so it was observed that the p value is greater than 0 0.05 which indicates that it is a normal data so the graphical summary test showed that the data is normally distributed when the y is normally distributed and x are discrete team had to perform one way ANOVA test. Stat ANOVA one way. Under response, enter call time. 
under factor enter city and click ok p value of less than 0.05 indicates that it is a significant factor likewise team has to test all the other factors which is shift agent and hold time p value of less than 0.05 indicates that shift is also a significant factor here the p value is greater than 0.05 which indicates that agent is not a significant factor so the next x which the team has to test is hold time which is a continuous x so when your y is continuous and x is continuous we will do regression testing for that we will go to stat regression and fitted line plot under response we will enter call time under predictor x we will enter hold time and we will click ok if you look at this graph r square adjusted value is 92.4 percent which is greater than 65 percent which indicates that there is a strong correlation between call time and hold time. When the hold time is increasing, the call time is also increasing. So this line, which is call time is equal to 5.735 plus 1.824 into hold time, holds true for this particular analysis. So in order to reduce the call cycle time, team has to reduce the hold time. The next thing the team did was to identify the solutions to the significant axis. So the first X that they identified solution was for hold time. The solution was that they consolidated the research and they reduced the information finding time. The, they created a frequently asked questions document for agents and they trained them on that particular document so that they know the answers. They don't have to put the call on hold. Tenure of the agent was also one of the significant contributors. So they identified that, okay, how the tenure can be improved. They created the case study based scenarios on exceptions and difficult situations to enhance the overall experience of the agents. Search in multiple screens was also one of the significant access. So they created an automated platform where the entire information is available on one screen. The shift was also one of the significant contributors. The TL and the SMEs are available to resolve query in the morning shift, but they were not there in the night shift. So the support was extended in the night shift as well. So in this way, they were able to reduce the call cycle time to 4 minutes and 30 seconds. And that was a big improvement. And the team were able to uh, reduce the call drop rate from 15% to only 5%. Hence, the project was a success. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I'll see you in my next upcoming video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.